Hi, my name is Sean, and this is my van project. 1978 Chevy, three quarter ton van that we'll be uh, putting an entirely new interior into. Uh, I've already done a lot of mechanical work to this vehicle. Uh, new brakes, new suspension, pause attraction, uh, rear disc brakes, uh, resealed all the doors. We've, um, well, we won't have them, we've done, we put new rubber, uh, all new hoses and belts, things like that in it. Uh, so basically we have a good running platform right now to start with. And then now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna document the rest of the project, which will be building out the interior in it, uh, trying to make the best use of the space since we're very limited on space. And uh, there's you know plenty of issues with placement because of windows and things like that where we have to uh, be creative to work around these problems. Uh, anyway, uh, there's a story behind the van. The van sat, for, the, the previous owner of the van is deceased and the van sat for 20 years. Before a gentleman in Oxnard, not far from where we live, he purchased it and his intention was to work, fix it, but he decided to sell it instead. He'd done a few things, so he put tires on it and all the rest. Uh, you know, and done, got it running, but it wasn't running well. So since then, we've got it running really well. Uh, it's stopping well, you know, doing everything very well. So now at this point, we're getting to the funner stuff. We're starting to th talk about uh, what we're going to do with the interior, uh, lights on the exterior, uh, things like that, how we're going to place things, uh, decisions regarding, you know, water heaters or tank lists or tank type. Uh, which we've actually decided we're going to go a six gallon tank type water heater because uh, apparently the temperatures uh, are warmer. You know, you, the water stays hotter, so it's you don't you don't have to deal with uh, lukewarm water, and especially in colder temperatures. So I think that's good because what I'll be moving to is going to have some, we're going to have real winters, not like here in California where everything's pretty warm. You know, right now about about eighty degrees there, Tiff, eighty mm -hmm. degrees, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's walk around. I'll kind of show you what we're, what's going on with it. Um, basically, we have a pretty straight Chevy van to start with. Um, it's, you know, pretty rust-free, which is a good way to start with most things. I mean, a lot of things can be fixed pretty easily. Rust is not one of them. So um, the plan is at this point is... We've tinted the windows too, which is a big thing for me because I like privacy and we'll also be adding curtains eventually. Uh, but we've also redone the, all of the propane systems here so that it's nice and safe and won't blow up, hopefully, uh, which is a good thing. Um, over here, we've maybe if Tiff can bring it around, we put new springs on here. And then if you can see the other side, we've also added disc brakes. You can lower it down a little bit more, maybe to here. Mm -hmm. You can see the disc brake on the other side. So it's pretty nice. It stops good. Pause attractions in. So we put a new exhaust on it. Now we've upgraded it to Arizona emissions, which means no smog equipment whatsoever, which is wonderful. So over here... We've gone ahead and we've put in our tank drain for the toilet and we've rehosed all the, the gas tank and everything and we put all new shocks in. So um, where we're at next is we went ahead today and we made a cup holder, which everything, every good van needs a good cup holder. Uh, we've also put in a backup camera. This is about a week ago. Um, stereo. Tachometer over here. So we've gutted it and we're getting ready to start the interior. So the next thing for us will be to, well, we kind of place things where we want it. 
I've taken this <coughs> plastic garage sink, and I think this is going to work out pretty really well as a shower pan for the project. So I'm going to put that here. I have a toilet already on the inside over here. I probably should have cleaned this out first, but I just decided to do this on the fly. We put in our pipe for our black water tank. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen is we'll have a shower pan here, black water tank here, and then we're going to put the toilet on top of it. So it'll be basically be a step here where you know you can comfortably we got a low toilet so you can basically we're going to combine this into it like a basically a wet space so uh, there'll be the shower and the toilet and then the toilet will be actually the, the black water tank will be contained inside the back of the van so the back of the van will be partitioned off from the rest of the van that's the idea so <laughs> we will put a partition in here except for where the bathroom is so the bathroom will extend into the back of the van but the rest of it will just be partitioned here, which we'll use to put in batteries and, and uh, our utilitarian type stuff, some storage, and also some drawers that will you know take up some space from the inside of the van so we have a place to store some things. Uh, the plan is at this point is to put our stove here. The original stove was also here. So we'll have a stove here, and then a sink, and then an extension of the counter that will go into partly into the doorway because we don't need all that space. Um, you know, we're not moving any couches in, so so everything's good. We're just going to bring it out to there so that our refrigerator will fit inside of the cabinet, and we'll be able to roll it out into that space to access it. Now, what's going to happen here is we'll have a countertop up to the partition. And we'll have a heater, you know, a furnace for the for the inside of the van. And then I think I'm going to mount the water heater yet. Haven't quite decided. I want to see it. I want to get it here first. And then I'll figure out what we're going to do with it. So I'm thinking I would like most of the utility type stuff to be over here on this side if I can fit it all in. And then we'll have some, maybe a cabinet up here and a couple drawers for, so we, and probably a drawer or two where we can fit it here. <coughs> Now this is a fold-out couch, so this couch folds out nicely into a bed. So underneath this, what we want to do uh, is put in two large drawers, two large drawers, on, drawers underneath here, and maybe even small drawers here. I haven't decided yet because I know I, I would like to put a speaker here, but that would be a waste of space because we have the space behind it that we need to utilize for something. You need got to use every inch of the thing. Otherwise, you know, I mean, it's just not enough space to go around. <clears throat> so you have two spaces on the outside, which might become, you know, smaller drawers, longer, small drawers. You know, I'm sure we'll find plenty of stuff to put in it. Uh, so you have those two spaces we have to figure out. Otherwise, the speakers, we're going to probably have six speakers in here. We'll figure out where to put them. I'll probably put two in the back doors to uh, be able to open the back doors if I want to listen to music outside. So maybe a switch or something to uh, turn on and off the speakers in the back doors. <coughs> so that, or no, I'm sorry, turn off the other speakers so maybe I can just turn on the back speakers and not waste too much power when I'm listening to music outside. So anyway, so that's the plan with that. Um, okay, where are we going to go to next? Okay, so the shower, all that. Okay, when we're sitting down here and we have our countertop, okay, and we have our sink and our stove, our two burner stove. We have a small stove. We had a larger one, but we didn't need that much stove because I don't really cook. I'm not that sophisticated in the kitchen. I don't cook a lot in the stove as it is. And when I'm living in here, I probably mostly barbecue and I just need a two burner stove. So I took out the Magic Chef that was here. So we have our countertop that's extending out to where this ends. And hopefully, I need to measure it. I, I just got the refrigerator for here. Hopefully there's enough room for our refrigerator to come out. 
to where I can extend it out and hopefully open it. I don't know. I'm going to have to do the math on that. So that's the plan right now. But what we want to do is we want to also have a drawer-like platform that will serve as a table. So I could pull that out over the, it'll be over the refrigerator, which is a cooler type refrigerator. I'll show it to you in a, in a few minutes. Um, so we have our countertop and it extends out. So that becomes the table. So anyway, I think that'll work out pretty well. I'm mostly going to be staying in here by myself, except when Tiff is visiting. And so anyway, so that's where we're at with that. Now, what's really neat about this particular truck, you know, it's probably not unusual for this, this type of van, I didn't know much about them before I bought one, uh, is that this storage space up here comes down and then this slides out and becomes either another bed or just a whole lot of storage, which is nice, very versatile space. So, you know, I'm going to, you know, reface all this, make it all new. I'm planning on doing the interior in a, uh, in a rift cut oak, which is going to be a, a mixture of basically old and new with style. We're going to try to keep a little bit to the original 70s look, but I don't know how much we're going to maintain that. But it's going to be very high tech in here. I mean, everything's going to be, it's going to have everything you would expect to see in a modern sprinter van for the most part. Yeah, so that's the plan with that. Seems a little containers to get back in, but it works out. I wanted to keep this mirror, but I'm not sure it's gonna fit the decor. So we'll have to see about that. And that, one of the reasons I went with like a, when I'm thinking of going with the, uh, the rift cut oak is because I think it's the only thing that's gonna match this fantastic 70s blue interior here which I like because it's kind of funky and we have curtains. So I like all that. So I'd like to stay with it if we can do it. The captain's chairs are in good shape. The couch is in good shape. The dashboard's nice. So anyway, let's go inside and take a look at the uh, some of the items that we have for the build.